Hello and welcome to Battle Streams of Middle Earth and welcome to my hobby vlog number 14 I believe but um, honestly I'm really struggling with this because um, I'm, I'm doing an awful lot of bits here. Um, B-Sime historians out there uh, might might be interested to know or might, might have worked out as soon as I see this that um, I'm recording quite a lot of hobby vlogs at the same time. This clip um, is recorded in the same sitting as clips for the previous two. So tonight I have recorded the end of hobby, of hobby Vlog number 12, the entirety of Hobby Vlog number 13, and now the start of Hobby Vlog 14. So that is um, part of the, the wonderful world of, um, of, of doing this kind of stupid stuff on YouTube that we do. But um, su such is life and, um, you know, um, fun facts. Um, if you are new to the channel, um, welcome. I hope you enjoy what we do here. Please give the channel a subscribe if you are new here and you haven't done so already. Um, it's always great to have more people join the B-Sign family. But today, um, what are we going for? We are in Hobby Vlog 14 and it is, um, it is my most favourite time of the year because I believe down there in the bar, this is not just going to be called Project Dale 4, it's also going to be called the Road to Throne of Skulls, part one. Oh yeah, Throne of Skulls is, ha is happening. It is my favorite event of the year, and um, I have been, I, I love it. I've had some great success there in the past few years, and I try and go all out for it. But I'm not gonna talk about that, because I might not yet. Um, the reason it's called Road to Throne of Skulls, part one, is I'm very, very, very far away from being ready for Throne of Skulls. And I know we've been here before, and I know people like it, but, um, I mean it this time, I mean it as much as ever. It's currently um, Saturday the 29th of October. Uh, Throne of Skulls is in uh, five weeks. That really upsets me, just saying that out loud. Um, so five weeks today will be halfway through Throne of Skulls, whatever I end up bringing. And this, um, I, re I really do enjoy my kind of, the, the Road to Journey vlogs where you take it all the way through. I did one for my Ents last year, I think it was the last three weeks. It was basically about building ends, painting ends, building the display board and all that. And I kind of wanted to do it again to document it because I, I do enjoy this stuff when I go when I go all out. But um, there's there's kind of too much to do to fit it into one vlog. And I thought it'd be, it would be far too long even by my standards. So what I've decided to do is break it down into what I think are gonna be three. And the other reason for that is that if I don't succeed in the first two, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Um, so I figured whilst I'm not going, I'm just going to talk about the models I'm painting today, I'm not going to talk about my big elaborate plans because if I don't get this first bit done, there are going to be no elaborate plans essentially. So, so that's, that's, um, that's the, uh, that's the kind of caveat. So what I, what I'm willing to do or what I suggest you do is when you see the models that I'm working on, by all means, start to speculate. I'd love to hear in the comments what you think I'm going on. Um, you know what? What's the theme going to be this year? What am I up to? Um, and certainly at this moment, there is there are plans for a display board and there are plans for fancy dress. So by all means, please feel free to join in the speculation. And I really, really hope this happy, has a happy ending. I hope that this vlog goes really well. I hope the next vlog goes really well. And I hope that Throne of Skulls um, goes fully in and that you get this kind of I think what will be a three part series in the build up to Throne of Skulls. Uh, but for now, we're not worried about Th Throne of Skulls. For now, we are worried about Project Dale 4. Um, if you've been following my last few hobby vlogs, I've been working on a Dale army um, at long, long last. Um, I've been kind of... I really enjoyed the first batch I did in my first two Dale videos, uh, with, but working on some warriors. And then the Dale knights and the heroes became a real slog for me. Um, but I was glad to get them done. So I've got 400 points of Dale painted up. And I need to, I need to top them up. And just as a word, just as uh, I don't mind dropping some hints in there. Remember, Throne of Skulls is a thousand points, and I've currently got four hundred points of Dale painted, and I need to top them up. Okay, with with this. So Project Dale Four is this. Here's my sprue. You see what we got? Let's bring it in. Oh, that's quite nice. That's working out quite well. Hopefully, you can see that. So what I've got in here is a wind lance with the wind lance crew. I've got a converted captain, you'll see him in more detail um, you know, at some point over this vlog, with, with a bow. I've got Girion, oh, and I've got two warriors of Dale, one with shield and one with bow. Um, before I go any further, I wanna give a big shout out to GW Customer Service, um, in, in case it helps any of you guys, that 
when I first got my Dale Command figures, so three Dale Command figures from Forge World and then the Windlance, all five of them had their helmet spikes snapped off. Um, can you see those? I'm just checking it's the right models. Yes, those three models there, they all had their helmet spikes snapped off. They, they, I don't even think they were in the um, blister. I think they've been left in the mould. And I um, I sent GW a message about it and I, I'd heard, I'd seen it happening to a lot of people and they sent me out replacements and all five of them were intact. So I'm not sure if it's just dumb luck or if um, if they've kind of improved the casting, but if you've had that issue with Dale Warriors, it might be it might be worth getting in touch because they um, they replaced them for me, um, sort of no questions asked, and I now have um, Windlance crew with spikes and and frankly a, a spare Windlance with without spikes, which is super cool. So GW um, customer service, big props from me as ever. Um, so despite having cleaned up my old Windlance crew and got those ones ready to go and my old captain. I then had to, um, I, I did these new ones so that the guys with spikes would be ready. So yeah, six Dale models and a wind lance um, is, is what's on the on the table. Now, as I said, Throne of Skulls is five weeks away. And whilst I could have these hanging over me a bit, I really need to get these done within the next two weeks to have any chance of doing it. And I say the next two weeks, even that's a bit... Um, a bit of a stretch. So what I've done is I've worked out how long they take. Um, I've been doing this in quite some detail over those those Dale Hobby vlogs. I've been and I think we worked out that it was about it was about 23 hours for my first nine Dale guys. I think I worked out, and it was about the same for the Dale Knights. So I, I kind of lost it. So I'm I'm pretty good at knowing how long Dale guys take me to paint now. Um, I'm, paint, I'm trying to paint these to the best of my ability, they're not models I'm trying to speed paint and yet I've been putting in somewhere in the region it seems of, um, well what are we saying, is that about two and a half hours each, something like that, two and a half hours each it works out as one of these models. So, by my token, by my work reckoning, it took me 24 hours to paint nine models I've got six models here. I'm not really counting the wind lance because that'll be easy. So that's two thirds of the models. So that's 16 hours. So roughly speaking, to paint these guys up is going to take me 16 hours, and um, I don't have long to do it. I'd love it to have 16 days and do an hour a day, but I don't have that. So what I've done is I've worked out. I've looked ahead and got got the next eight days where I can theoretically paint in the evening. Um, and they are eight of the next ten days. So I've got two things coming up essentially. So I've then put in, and for the first, I think it's the first time I've ever done this. I put it in my diary. Every one of those nights, essentially, you know, don't make plans. Painting Dale, and I've got to paint for two hours. Now in my head, that's really simple. I paint from ten p.m. till midnight. Job done. But I, it's exceptionally rare that I paint for two hours of an evening, and I don't think I've ever painted for two hours eight evenings out of ten. So this is one of those fun tasks for O'Byrne where it's like, I write it down on paper and I go, I can't see why that's not possible, but equally I have no reason to believe this is possible. But that's 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 the kind of goal. I've got this, this vlog is going to cover about ten days, hopefully 16 hours of painting, no mercy. Um, and if, if I get a week in and there's no progress made on these, then we might have to genuinely rethink Throne Skulls plans. Um, but hope I'm going to be optimistic about it. You'll notice that um, one of the guys actually, um, you see him there, he's got some base coats on. I, I did start kind of base coating a second batch ages ago that never went any further. So, you know, I'm ahead. Um, but yeah, so he, he's had a bit of work. In terms of the complexity of these, um, they're warriors instead of knights, which is good. So they have the less complicated cloak trim. They, um, they don't have the additional fur. And I only have to do two shields, which is huge because the shields take a long time. So that's pretty good. And I've also printed off my um, how to paint Dale guys checklist. So this is my complete recipe that, I, that I've kept because it is complicated. And the reason for this, it, it, I mean, it looks incredibly elaborate. It's a lot of steps. But I did this for my day or nights. And whilst it took three months, it did keep me on course because you, you, it allows you to not, if you, if you miss anything, you're kind of like, well, have I done that, but have I not? But there is a real sense of progress of, you know, crossing it off and, and seeing yourself work through, um, 
work through it. And what I'm what I'm kind of hoping for is is to be able to use this to work. I don't know if it's methodically, but smartly, kind of like I think I said in my first day or video, or the or the second one, where I can work out. Okay, well I've got an hour and a half. What can I do? Well, the highlights on the trousers are just steel legion drab and Andrew dust. Right, I'll do all of that. On the other hand, the highlights on the skin are um, it's kind of it's the eyes and then four different layers. So I can't, I, you know, I won't be able to fit that in. That's that's my kind of thinking. That every time I'll be able, depending on how much painting time I've got left in each session, I'll be able to paint a complete. I'll be able to find a complete bit and kind of work my way through. Um, I'm. This is the smallest batch of Dale I've ever done, so I'm actually genuinely looking forward to this. Um, as much as the the deadline's a bit intimidating, only having to work on six is a is a real relief. Having worked on nine and ten in the past, and I'm hoping that that will will help me to kind of power through essentially, but. Um, yeah, that, that's the plan. And the only other thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to continue my Dale um, journey of listening to the audiobooks to track my progress. So on Dale Day, we did The Hobbit. We tried to listen to The Whole Hobbit in a single day. Then for my nights, I listened to Fellowship of the Ring, and I've just finished that. And so for these guys, I'm going to listen to the Andy Circus Two Towers. That's the only thing I'm going to listen to while I paint these. Um, I believe the Andy Circus Two Towers... Is about 20 hours it's shorter than um, than first it's 20 it's just under 21 hours so I, I shouldn't get through it basically I'm, uh, if my maths are correct you know I only need about 16 hours but that's what I'm gonna be listening to and basically anytime I check in with you I'll be able to say okay well, I've done this and I am four hours in or five hours in because the audiobook will be keeping track of that for me um, but yeah, that that's basically the plan. Um, I don't. I'm I'm kind of hopeful this this vlog won't have too many clips. To be honest, I'm probably not going to check in again until they're base coated and shaded, and then I'll let you know how many days in I am. As I said, we're we're trying to we're trying to make it finish. We're trying to make it ten days, so that would be finishing on Monday the seventh, um, and that that's the that's the plan starting out. So God knows how how we'll get on, but we're hoping to finish these by Monday the seventh of November. And I'll, I'll be checking in a few every now and again just to let you know my progress. But I won't be checking in too much because, frankly, that is painting time. So there we go. That's the plan. Dale Project 4, two hours a night for about eight days. Easy, right? <laughs> Let's find out. All right, so it is update time. And I'm delighted to say it's going pretty damn well. Um, to give you some idea... Um, and you probably won't need a reminder because I've said it seconds ago to you, but I said it a few days ago to me, but um, I had laid out that I needed to do two hours a day for eight out of the next 10 days. Well, I'm delighted to say it is four days later and I've done eight hours. So I'm completely on track. Ooh, ooh. I've done four evenings work and on um, every one of those evenings, I've managed to do the two hours. Um, so I'm eight hours into the project. Um, and I'm very much enjoying the two towers. Um, eight hours in, as it as it turns out, gets you right to the climax of Helm's Deep. So it's been it's been very um, pleasant listening along to those. So um, let's have a look at how they're doing. Um, this is the state they're currently in. So it, as it turns out, the the first basically the first two nights we're getting them base coated and washed. Um, I'm not going to go through all my colours here because I've done that in previous vlogs. But yeah, uh, the base coat and the wash was done over those first two evenings. And then I spent the last two evenings doing, um, start, starting to build up the highlights on them all. So um, let's find a, let's try and bog standard Dale Warren and see what we've done on him. So the skin is basically done, um, with the exception of that, um, the shading layer I do with the Bugman's Glow. So that's had the eyes painted in and then two levels of highlights uh, painted up. And then once other things are done, I'll do a Bugman's Glow shade. Uh, the jackets, the brown jackets here have had two layers, a highlight and a shade. Um, the chainmail has been dry brushed, same with the shields. The shields have had caraber crimson painted into the bottom. The cloak has had one layer of highlights on the red, two more to go there. Um, and the brown areas, things like the boots have been painted up. So that, that's about where we are. Uh, I've got to say already, I'm absolutely falling in love with the new Dale models. So by this, I mean the um, Windlance crew and the um, new captain. They're absolutely gorgeous, so much character in them. That's him. This is my captain conversion. First time you'll be seeing this. So it's the guy who's drawing his sword. But I just put some, um, not sure how well it reads, I put some uh, flights into the end of his scabbard so it's like a quiver and gave him a bow. 
So this is my this is my captain with bow. Um, just a just a really 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 gorgeous model. Um, great character. So Lewis Collins I think sculpted these. So massive props to him. Uh, we haven't looked at this guy here. So that that's where they are. So I'm really happy. Uh, I think most importantly I'm enjoying it. Um, I've managed to find the time every night and just really really enjoyed getting stuck into it. That's good news. This is where the wind lance is. Wind lance is a bit different, to be honest. Um, you know, it's, it's a different colour palette and stuff, but um, it was painted up um, kind of iron lead belcher for the metals, um, Mornfang brown for the browns, and then null oil everywhere. And then it's been dry brushed once with steel legion drab for the wood. It's going to get at least one more, maybe two more dry brushes. Then once that's done, I'll start kind of highlighting up the metal. So very very different kind of palette for that. Um, but that's coming along nicely. So yeah, there there we go. That that's where we are. Eight hours in, and I think I'm feeling pretty good about how much we get done. Bear in mind my my estimate on this of why it should take 16 hours is purely based on what I did in the past. And we have to we have to say whilst I'm I'm painting six models instead of nine, and I've given myself two thirds of the time because six is two thirds of nine. I am also painting this which is a seventh model. Now, you know, it's a lot simpler, but it doesn't mean that that isn't eating away at, at the time um, that I have to do everything else. And looking at these guys, I'm not sure if they're eight hours away from being finished. So to give you some idea, I've done nothing on the armor. So if we look down here, for example, it's obviously been base coated and shaded, but there are four highlights to go on this. The, the recessed areas and the raised areas both get two more colors. And there's that armor, there's the kind of armor on the, um, on the join of the cloak, there's um, the helmets, there's the wrist guards, there's quite a lot of armour on that and that's had nothing done to it. Um, the cloaks still need another two layers, the cloak trim hasn't been touched at all and that needs another, that needs four layers in total and the fur hasn't been touched at all. And so there's still quite a lot to do and I would guess that the cloak trim, the cloaks and the armour are all about two hours each so bear in mind if i'm on track i've got four more evenings of two hours and i kind of think on one of those i could do the armor one of those i could do the cloaks and one of those i could do the cloak trim and then what's left i you know it, which is essentially one evening i don't think two more hours gets everything else done um so i don't think i'm i think i'm i'm <laughs> i am on track as it were as it as it were and I've been I've been painting as much as I hoped I would, and f and far more than I ever thought I could. But at this point, looking at them, I'm I don't know if another eight hours will be enough to finish them. But um, that's a tomorrow problem. And if I manage to get through four of the next six nights painting two hours a night, um, and just have to do another couple of evenings or another one evening, I will still consider that a massive success. So there we go. Um, that's where we are. Um, I, I genuinely am really happy and really enjoying this. So the project's going really well. I've also completely fallen over the Girion model. Um, I'm really enjoying this. He's very different to the others. Very different kind of um, clothes that he's wearing. But it's just a it's just a beautiful model. Just a really cool pose. So I'm, I'm very excited to um, to get him done. I think he's coming out quite well. Uh, but yeah, so very much enjoying this little project. But I am at the start of my fifth evening. So enough rambling. I need to get another two hours painting in tonight. Um, and then. I will come back probably in four evenings time, I reckon. It'll probably be after the eight hours to see to see how we've got on, unless there's something sort of spectacularly interesting to show you halfway through the next couple of evenings. But um, yeah, uh, really good progress so far, and I am very happy. Um, so fingers crossed we can get the rest done in eight hours. Let's see. So I said I would check in after the next eight hours, so after the full 16 hours had elapsed to let you know how I've got on. That has now happened. <gasps> Let's see how we did. Well, if you uh, go back to the first clip, um, you might remember that I said that I wanted to, to paint for two hours a night for eight out of the next ten nights, which would leave me finishing on Monday the 7th of November, um, if I did it. Well, I am delighted to say that I have finished the 16 hours of painting, and it is Tuesday the 9th of November. So do you know what? It's a day after I planned, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna say that's a pretty pretty good thing. So I have two bits of good news and one bit of bad news to update you on. So first things first, 
um, I've managed to do the 16 hours of painting um, in, in I wanted 8 out of the 10 nights but I did it in 8 out of the next 11 nights so that I'm really impressed with I've really knuckled down really got on and I've put 16 hours of work into these Dale Warriors. It's actually 16 and a half as, as, um, as it turns out because I just kept going until uh, I finished the colour. So that's really good news, really pleased with that and it gives me hope for um, Throne of Skulls. The other bit of really good news is I'm enjoying it! Ah! Um, particularly after the last um, batch of Dale guys that I had to slog through for three months. Um, it's delightful um, genuinely enjoying these and kind of I think maybe having this time to really focus and block it out has, um, has helped with that. I'm just going to say by the way, at the time of recording, um, my hobby vlogger, I think it's number 12, has been up for a few days. It's the one where the three month Dale vlog one. And what's been lovely is both on Facebook and on YouTube videos, um, I've had loads of comments on it saying that they, they, look, they look really good and that I'm being too harsh on myself and so on and so forth. So. Um, thank you for that. It's it's very kind. It really does mean a lot. I think I think I said in it. I, I think I sounded pretty miserable. I was saying I'm sure I've lost all odd objectivity about this. But having that kind of thing in is is genuinely lovely. So cheers to everyone who's who's left comments like that. It, um, it really does mean the world to me. Um, so yeah, I've really actually enjoyed working on this lot. Um, you know, as I said, it's taken um, it's taken uh, what. Well, we're on 11 days so a week and a half or something and being that focused on a single project for that amount of time and getting that much paint done has been great I've been really enjoying listening to um listening to the andy circus two towers as i said i'm now um 16 and a half hours in so there's only four and a half hours left on it um i'm just at the um window at the west with um with faramir and frodo and sam at the moment I'm very much enjoying myself um so um, that's that's kind of where where I am in that. So two good news: did the sixteen hours and um, really enjoyed working on them. The the one bit of bad news: I ain't finished, <laughs> and it's uh, probably the most important bit of bad news. Bear in mind, I can't remember what I said when I started started out this video, but it was only an estimate that they should take this amount of time based on. I think I said like nine of them took twenty three and a half hours, therefore six of them is two thirds of that, two thirds of 23 hours is 16 hours, ergo that should complete it. But they're not done. Um, they are however close to being done. They're not They're not desperately nearly done to the point where I just would have kind of finished them. But what I've basically got, my little cheat sheet here that I think I, that I, think I showed you, I've basically got one colour left to go on not quite everything, but nothing has two colours left to go, which is really, really satisfying. So to give you some idea, I've still got to do the uh, Bugman's Glow shade on the skin. I've got to do a Zandri Dust highlight on the trousers and the sleeves and the and the belts. I've got to do a Bane Blade Brown highlight on the brown areas, which like the boots and stuff. I've got to glaze the armour with Seraph and Sepia. I've got to do a little cheeky... Um, wash on the weapons with Reichland Flesh Shade. I've got to highlight the fur with Rakarth Flesh. I've got to um, shade the jackets with Doomball Brown. I've got to highlight the hair. Um, I've got to do the Pallid Witch Flesh on the quivers, on the um, flights of the arrows. I've got to do a Bane Blade Brown highlight on the scabbards. I've got to do the final Shabdi Bone highlight on the cloak trim. And I've got to do the Flayed One Flesh um, highlight on the tassels. Now, obviously, even reading that out makes me feel a bit sick, and there's quite a lot in there. But loads of these are tiny tiny highlights now on small areas so something like the the ta the highlights i just mentioned on the tassels the scabbards the quiver the quivers the um the weapons the brown areas and the trousers are really really quick i honestly think i could do all of those on all the models in about an hour or something so they'll smash them up but there are still there are still kind of, I'd say, four areas which will take a bit of time, which are the um, the real big ones are the the glazing the gold with Sarah from Sepia, the um, doing the Rakath flesh on the fur, um, doing the Doomble Brown on the jackets, and um, doing the Shabti Bone on the cloak trim. So there's kind of four bits which are, you know, larger um, larger highlights. Um, as I said, I'm 16 and a half hours in, so the way I've been painting for these two hour blocks, one more block is one and a half hours. I don't think I'll get them done in that, but I think I might get them done in two. So I think I think in, in total, 
three and a half hours more maybe they they could they could be done so we're on about it's actually about 20 hours instead of 16 hours um well, part of the reason um for it taking longer is undoubtedly because um i've done the wind last the wind last is um finished now actually i think i think it's done and whilst this hasn't taken long it is still a seventh model that has taken you know an hour maybe or something all in to do this so that that's chipped away at my time a bit but um i'm not I'm not too worried to be honest. Um, it's obviously set me back two evenings in terms of progress, so the next thing I'm starting will be will be started a bit later. But um, I'm not I'm not going to complain too much because I'm I'm really happy with the work I've done, and I'm just going to keep motoring through. So yeah, um, I've got two evenings um, I've, I've got two evenings available to finish these off, and I just have to push the next bit um, down, and I'm I'm feeling pretty good about it. So yeah, um, all all in all, um, very very positive. Um, happy with how the Dale guys are looking. I'm not going to show you them now because they're going to look so similar to to once I finish them. But hopefully the next clip will be in about two nights time when I'll get to come back and show you the um, finished Dale Warriors and wrap up this vlog. But yeah, see you there. The great door slammed to. Boom. The bars of iron fell into place inside. Clang! The gate was shut. Sam hurled himself against the bolted brazen plates and fell senseless to the ground. He was out in the darkness. Frodo was alive, but taken by the enemy. That was The Two Towers by J.R.R. Tolkien. Read by Andy Serkis. The producer was Garrick. There we go. Um, crazy times. Um, I can't quite believe this, but um, time for a cheeky little update for you. Uh, last time, I believe we were 16 and a half hours in, and I think I was saying it's you know three and a half hours left on the audiobook. I could get them done. I've literally just finished as it's ended. Absolutely nuts. So, um, or not quite. There is one caveat. Um, I'm just working on Girion on the last colour, but you've just seen me close. Is this? I don't know if you can, is that going to come up at all? Probably won't come up. I promise this is corn red. And if we look at my sheet, tidy up. Oh, it's, everything's dark over there, isn't it? What happens if I turn this off? I'll get really dark, but I might come back in a minute. There we go. Uh, tidy up with corn red, I believe, is the last thing I have to do. So I've just done that, and we can cross that off the list. So that is it. The, the Dale guys are done. Um, the six warriors, literally as the audiobook ended. So this took me, it didn't take me 16 hours as hoped, it took me just under 21. Um, but that's alright, we're done. Um, yeah, so the two plastic warriors, the two Windlance crew, the captain, and the Windlance itself are completely finished. Um, Girion isn't, um, in the sense that he's he's finished to exactly the same level as the others, but kind of like I did with Bard and Brand, in a perfect world I'd like to push him on a little bit. Um, not not too far, he, he's looking better than Bard and Brand did at this stage, but I just feel like almost half an hour just chucking on a couple of extra highlights might go a long way with him. So. There's actually a bit more to do with him, but fundamentally um, they're done perfectly timed with the um, with the audiobook, and I am really happy with them. Um, obviously, those last few stages took a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm I'm pleased with this batch. I think they look good, and I'm happy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna push on. I'm gonna sit down and finish Girion, and then once I've done that, I will show you all of them complete um, on the camera, and we can um, wrap up the vlog. Okay, so um, as promised, I've spent a little more time on Girion, and I'm delighted to say that my Dale guys are finished. So let's have a look. Let's start with the basic. Uh, here is my single warrior. Um, you know, nothing, nothing fancy here, but I am, I am proud of them. The the overwhelming feeling I've got with these this batch is that I'm really happy. Uh, I am really pleased with how they came out. So um, <laughs> lessons we're learning is that, is that Damon enjoys painting. I think the plastic warriors more than the warriors more than the knights essentially um so beautiful model obviously giving him a shield um that's nice dale shields that we've got 
pleased with how the colours fell, pleased with how the cloak came out, um, pleased with how the skin went, and um, yeah, very happy with him. It's my second warrior, which is one that I converted to have a bow. Uh, it's actually exactly the same sculpt, but you can see what see what the the difference um, is. I cut his sword off from there and put his sword into that hand, so that he still got his sword because I was it irked me that he wouldn't have a sword in his scabbard essentially. So I gave him that and then chopped a bow and um, added it to his hand. Um, stuck the quiver on there. And again, you now get just a bit more of this cloak, but um, really, really, really pleased how he's turned out. I was going for like ginger hair on these guys, I think. Again, all that detail that I talked about at length in the first um, the first kind of Dale Warriors vlog or the, or the second one, whichever it was about finishing them, but up in you know in the shoulder pads of the cloak, there's so much detail going on there that you got to pick out. But um, just spending spending that time, as I said, it's four highlights on the cloak trim. I can't remember is it XV88, Baylor Browns, Andrew Dustin, you should have Bone, I think. But I do think it, I do think it's worth it when you get once you start getting in there and picking out the, the kind of animals they've got on the shoulders. I think it's well worth it. So yeah, that's him. Um, should we look at the captain now. The captain was another conversion of the new Forge World captain. Again, beautiful, beautiful face. Uh, beautiful sculpt on the face. I was really pleased with how he came out. I don't know how well it will show up at this mega close up, but I was pretty pleased with him in the hand. Seems to look all right here. Um, again, some lovely detail on his shoulder pads. See the kind of horses he's got. Um, I went for the one drawing his sword and then swapped the sword out for a, a quiver. Got the kind of flights of the arrows in there and then gave him a bow. So my, um, I think I mentioned to you that in the first uh, in the first clip of this that I got a replacement from Forge World. So I thought well, I've now got two captains with um, swords so I thought I'd have a captain with bow. Um, and obviously we've got the bottom of the sword here but I, I don't think anyone's going to kick off about that. I think it could be a thin end to a quiver. But um, I was pretty pleased when he came out. Um, <laughs> huge credit to um, uh, is it Lewis? I think he sculpted these for not putting cloak trim around here. That's it. That's a god's end. Um, you know, on on the on these four jaw models, you don't have to paint the cloak trim going around the edge of the um, the edge of the cloak like you got on these guys because it's not it's not on there. So um, that that was a that was a bit of a time saver. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with him. Happy with him as my first unnamed Captain Adele. Um, yeah, very pleased. Um, next up, let's do the wind lance. Here's the wind lance itself. Um, really pleased with how this came out. Very, very simple process, but equally still one that took a fair amount of time. I've got to give a shout out to Mr. Adam Troke, who um, I nicked his wood recipe years ago. <laughs> he had a Warhammer Community article just when, I think, when the game was reborn in sort of 2016, 2017, when the Iron Hills came out. And he talked about his ballista, and it was like Mornfang, painting, it, painting the wood Mornfang brown. Um, washing it with null oil and then dry brushing it and I think he just said like successively lighter browns and I, I've kind of used that since I think I've I think I dry brushed it like steel legion drab then maybe bane blade brown and then Rakath flesh probably possibly um I don't think it's quite as white as it looks on the screen at the moment and then the metal was just fairly easily more like iron breaker um washed with probably aggro as her shade I think and then highlighted with the fang and then maybe washed back a bit but um, please how this came out. That's that's probably a fairer colour there. Um, yeah, I think this has come out quite nicely. This is the original Wind Lance. It's the one I assembled kind of eight years ago. So this is the fine cost one as opposed to the Forge World Resin one. But it just um, is the one that I already had assembled. Um, so I'm pleased with that. Um, yeah, it didn't take long, but it did take time. Here's um, the first guy who's going to be operating it. Again, beautiful model, great characterful face. Pretty please. Again, it's it's always interesting seeing them on here, seeing if they come out, if, if the faces turn up as well as you think they look in the hand. And again, pretty pleased with how this guy's looking. No cloak trim around the edge, thanks Lewis. But nice nice details here, nice cloak trim to do there. Um, all those wonderful details that you get on the Dale models, like the tassels and little belt buckle and all that. Um, they do take an awful lot of time to um, to pick out, but they're so worth it. It's such a rewarding range to try and take your time over, um, I think. But yeah, really, I was really happy with him. Um, here's the other guy. Again, lovely, lovely characterful face. Um, obviously shouting commands to, to, to his mate or to everyone to get out of the way. 
Oh, he's got the big black arrow. Lovely, lovely model. Lovely detail on this guy's sword. All these tassels, and again, all this wonderful cloak detail with the. I think this one's a horse, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. So yeah, that's a that's a lovely little kind of vignette. These these two um, fire my wind lance, which we go. Cool. And finally, the big man himself, Gideon, Lord of Dale. And here he is. Um, again, I've had this model for I don't know. Since, I think since he first came out in that first range when I was hoping to do Dale back then, but it's just taken me for now to actually get a reason to paint him. But great to um, great to finally get him under the brush. Um, lovely, lovely detail. I really enjoy painting this guy actually. I'm not saying he's better than Brando Bard from last time, but I enjoyed painting him a lot more for some reason. Um, it's a it's a really cool pose. I think happy with his eyes certainly on here. I think he looks pretty good. Um, it's a lovely idea of him um, kind of looking looking to the skies essentially. I think of course he maybe he was meant to go with the wind lance originally because he was the only one who could have it for years. Maybe you're meant to think of him kind of picking a target for his wind lance, but um, I've gone for his red's a bit brighter than um, than he normally is in the film or the artwork. But I just went with him. I gave him exactly the same kind of recipe for his his coat as these guys got. Just to, um, you know, I, I thought it tied him in with him nicely, but I, th I think it also saved me time and effort. But um, yeah, I'm actually genuinely really pleased with this guy. Um, as I said, he's the one that I've just spent kind of half an hour more. It was basically just bringing everything up, an extra highlight, putting some more highlights on these these straps in here, and the straps on the boots and those kind of things. But yeah, um, it's a lovely model. Um, very very pleased with it. And um, and that's it. That's my um, that's my set of lovely lovely little Dell guys. They are all finished. They're not all going to fit in the frame, so I'm not going to put them in. But um, yeah, my seven Dell warriors are finished. Um, just a little bit after I hoped they would be and that is a cracking start to our Throne of Skulls project so we can now head back to the chair and wrap things up. <sighs> so there we go, the Dale guys are done, the first batch of them is done and um, and with them this vlog is done which is really really cool. Um, I'm very very happy um, having laboured over the last, having laboured over my last batch of Dale guys for three months to get these guys done in you know basically two weeks um, is is really really encouraging and I'm, I'm really pleased by that so that's really cool um, yeah I'm happy with them and all of these models will be marching off to war at Throne of Skulls which is cool so that is the end of this vlog but of course it is as I mentioned at the start just the start of our Throne of Skulls journey um, the first um, I think I mentioned at the start there was going to be hurdles and um, passing a hurdle doesn't guarantee that we're going to make it but it does, um, passing a hurdle, I guess, does you know means that we're not guaranteed to fail. So good news, one hurdle down and we're not guaranteed to fail. Um, we've got about three and a half weeks to throw in skulls. Um, I've got another batch of models to come in my next vlog, which I need to get done quick. And if I can get those done, if I can pass that next hurdle, then maybe we'll be we'll be we'll have a chance of getting everything done for throwing skulls, but obviously we're gonna have to wait and see uh, for that one. But yeah. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I would like to hear what you think I'm up to. Um, so in the comments below, as I always say this, if you have watched it and have enjoyed it, please, please, please do leave a comment. It really does um, mean the world to me. And I try and I definitely read them all and I try and reply to them all. Um, but it's actually quite hard to keep up at the moment because um, lots of you lovely people are commenting and the vlogs are coming pretty thick and fast. Um, if this one comes out, and I hope it will, I think this will be like th three in a row, three three weekly vlogs in a row essentially. So um, that'd be cool. We can keep that going. But um, yeah, as part of your comment, by all means, speculate on what my army might be. I now have a. Well, let's let's be honest. I had a four hundred point Dale army led by Brandon Bard, and I've just painted Gideon, so we know Brandon Bard aren't coming. So I've now got, if you take it round of Bard, I think they're 210 points. That's a 190 point Dale army. Plus Girion, who's about, who's about 75. Plus a Wind Lance, that's about 75. So that's three, that's 150. Plus two more guys is, up, what are we at? Somewhere in the region. I think this is a kind of 350 point um, Hobbit era. 
um, army of Dale that I've now got painted. So with that in mind, by all means start speculating on what I might be up to um, down below in the comments and um, we'll enjoy kind of getting that discussion going ahead of the next vlog, which I hope will be along very time soon. So yes, big tick for Throne of Skulls um, so far, um, a lot of work to do. But um, let's celebrate for the moment. I'm back enjoying painting Dale models. Kalu Kale. And I'll see you very soon um, in, my, in my next vlog. Um, until then, please make sure you um, like, comment and subscribe. Do give the channel a subscribe if you haven't done it already. And we'll see you next time either in one of our live streams or one of my vlogs here on Battle Streams in Middle Earth.